I've been exploring Sim AI and I kept asking myself whether it's really a new way to build intelligent agents or if it's just another flashy interface with little substance. Sim AI is an open source platform that makes it possible to design, test, and deploy AI agents visually. Instead of writing lines of code, you build on a canvas, connecting components and workflows much like you would in a design tool. These agents can then be connected to services like email, Slack, or project management tools. So they don't just answer questions but actually take action. What makes it interesting is how approachable it feels. Non-technical users can create functioning agents without coding, while developers can still customize and extend the system thanks to its open source foundation. That balance between ease of use and flexibility is what sets it apart. It also offers transparency. Because it's open source, you can self-host and adapt it to your own requirements without being locked into a closed system. For teams that want more control over their AI infrastructure, that's a significant advantage, but it's not without its challenges. Building more advanced agents still requires careful planning, since you're the one responsible for mapping out how the agent should think and act. It's not a quick prepackaged solution, and some people may find the flexibility overwhelming if all they want is a simple assistant. This makes Sim AI a great fit for businesses and creators who want to move beyond basic chatbots and start building AI that can truly automate tasks across different tools. If you're willing to put in the effort to design the workflows, it has the potential to become a powerful productivity driver. The bottom line is that Sim AI delivers a flexible, transparent, and modern way to build agents that can think and act with context. It's not for everyone, but for those who want more than just out-of-the-box responses, it's an exciting step forward. Would you spend the time creating your own AI agents from scratch, or would you rather rely on simpler tools that come ready to use? Share your thoughts in the comments, I always read them. And if this helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more honest reviews.